Hey there. Good morning, afternoon, evening to everybody. Thank you for being here. Sorry for being late this morning, having technical difficulties. So now we have a Wi-Fi hotspot we're using. Hey, okay. So, um, now welcome August fifth for our thirty question Thursday. So let's see. We have quite a few people on here this morning that are on live. Thank you guys for all being here. Just perusing through the list. Cool. Great, phenomenal peeps. Thanks for being here and in support. So let's see. And we got people from Maine, Albuquerque, Saudi Arabia, Sweden, Nebraska, Washington State, another from Maine. Cool. Um, New Jersey. So, um, if you are here live with us, oh, in Ireland, hey, Margaret. Um, if you guys are here live with us, please be sure to um, put your questions into the question tab here. And the chat tab is for everybody to hang out and chat. We have some great people who step in and also assist in answering questions along the way. Um, so let's see, as far as questions go, we just have one thing from the internet, and otherwise we'll start by going into the heart space. So here we go, just putting your attention onto the physical heart, imagining connecting heart to heart with the earth and breathing in that light of the earth into the heart. Next, connecting heart to heart with creation and breathing in that light of creation into the heart. That third step is breathing in both earth and sky, bringing both the energies together with you. And then you become grounded, connected, and in the heart space. All right. So we'll go to our comment question here on the internet. And then we'll take questions here. So this one comes from Connie. So some friends of my, some friends of my, some, <clears throat> sorry, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. Let me take a drink of my chai tea. All right. Some friends and I have been doing the field of neutrality healings for about a month now. The first session was dramatic for us. Two Reiki masters with changes in the light in the room and seeing each other is glowing. The next session was not as dramatic, and by the third, we were definitely adding groundings. That was helpful. At this point, we've had our fourth meeting. Now with three Reiki masters, we are noticing very subtle changes in ourselves, health-wise, motivation, and other areas of our lives, etc. There's also been changes in the people we've invited into the field. This is really powerful and feel important work on levels I can't begin to understand, but the journey is awesome. Any recommendations for us? And... Yeah, totally, Connie. Um, you know, the field of neutrality has been phenomenal over the years, um, you know, since we found it a couple of years ago with the Ascension Pyramids. Um, well, we found it before then. We just put it into the pyramids. So the, the next level really is to work with that chalice energy. Um, because the field of neutrality is kind of it was a it was a stepping stone a prerequisite before we got to that field that holds that chalice energy and so when we're able to step in and bring that chalice energy into ourselves and surrender it's amazing what the soul does to uncreate creation it is powerful um and then working with that divine i am um, so I know on some of the videos, gosh, some of the more recent videos, we would talk about the chalice and the divine I am. So I would check that out and incorporate that into that field, because when you're in that field and holding space, the higher and more expansive field you hold, the more happens. That's why that field of neutrality was such a phenomenal field. But now we're just 
refining and stepping up even more you know um so yeah i'm very happy to hear that you guys are playing with this field of neutrality and all these fields because they certainly are powerful and transformative all right so i have some questions here um any more information coming about the radionics device you might be releasing no you know pat we've um i made that first radionics box and i have not made or had the time to to continue working on that we we have so many flipping projects on the burners which the other question is talking about the subscription service so we have something brand new right now which is called the prototype subscription service um this is where you know we're doing like these radionics boxes um we're working in in different silver pendants um you know we're we're working on bringing out the elemental pendants <laughs> we're just releasing the alchemist pendant here we'll talk about this one this one's super exciting um but as far as this prototype um prototype subscription service there it, it is live on the website right now prototype subscription service and basically we have it set up in tiers um what the purpose and intent is with this is to be able to get some of these prototype tools because we're always working on something new to get these tools into the hands of the people who can assist us in evaluating what these tools are what they're doing for the individual um, so energetic so we are looking for people who are you know very much in tune with the tools and and understand the energetics but yet it, the subscription service is open for anybody um, basically with these with this prototype subscription service you will receive um, prototypes to test out for us um, also with the subscription service you'll also be receiving um, you know different quantum grid points that we created this one you screw onto the top of the pyramid but with the subscription service it's also going to um, we have a lot of these different quantum grid points that some of them have cell phone tabs in them or rings or coils or different stones um, you know some of these are pretty phenomenal pieces some of them are definitely prototypes where we were working with the different materials um, different levels and layerings of the stones so with this prototype subscription service you're almost guaranteed to get a quantum grid point of not of this style and flavor of one of the prototypes that are out there whether they have the rings in them or whether they're just clear resin um, so with the with that subscription service too some of the new tools um if you look on that web page you'll see a picture of um of a new bangle that is in that triangulated wire because we have a new roller mill well not new we've just now been able to get this thing out and working with it this roller mill will basically take your twisted wires and squish them into e into different shapes whether it's make it a circle again make it round again or triangulation uh, triangles squares ovals all the fun stuff so we're going to be working with that um, on a lot of different prototypes god we have these cool gaia spheres oh my goodness that are made with this triangulation wire um so anyway the subscription service basically you will if you make that purchase that ranges anywhere from 99 300 500 to 800 and depending on the level of subscription you get you'll receive you always receive some of the copper tools some of the grid points um but then like the silver subscription service you would receive some of the silver prototypes um as well as the copper and then the gold subscription service you would receive you know the copper and the silver not guaranteeing that you'll receive gold but there's a quite the high possibility because we're going to start playing with electroplating with the gold 
and also with some of this uh, with this roller machine on working gold filigree gold wire into the rings. Um, so we're just just playing with prototypes, um, which we always are, and sometimes we'll play with the prototype for you know a year or two before it actually comes out. So this is going to be a huge um, opportunity for you guys here, but it's going to be a huge asset for us too so that we can get more feedback on the tools. And it doesn't have to be the energetic stuff. It can be simply, yeah, this feels good wearing it on the wrist. I like this. I don't like this, that type of thing. Um, so with this, we do request the, the feedback from everybody on working with these prototypes. And um, there we go. Randy put down that prototype subscription service uh, link. And so let's see, going back. Um, let's see what else about the prototype service. So if you do check out the web page, there's there's a bit of information there and some um, you know a couple different pictures and things. But basically, it's it's going to be a phenomenal thing because um, you're going to get tools that we may not ever sell, but are going to be pretty phenomenal tools. So anyway, and then plus it's going to help support that research and development, which is the huge thing is that, um, you know, because we, we, we spend quite a bit on research and development and, and working with new tools. And it's just going to be really beneficial for us as well to have you guys helping out by, you know, taking on some of these prototypes and working with them. Um, so anyway. I thank you guys for taking a look at that. Um, let's see, getting back to the questions here. Kendall, you added the divine I am energy to the templates, but what's the difference between the divine I am ring in itself? So when when we started working with the chalice and then the divine I am rings, those energies permeated the templates, um, which basically went into all of the tools. But so let's say let's take for instance the the golden fire ring here um this is the wi-fi ring in the golden fire it's still going to be the golden fire ring but it's going to have the the space held within here is going to hold within this space of the tensor field it's also going to be holding the energy of the chalice and the divine i am and the golden fire it's it's all in here now the difference between this and a divine i am ring in and of itself um the divine i am is going to only contain the divine i am it is purely that so you're going to be receiving so if the divine i am is basically you can explain it this way if the divine i am is your soul's light that's what we see within this ring. It's going to be purely just that. This ring here would have the golden fire that would be coming through first and foremost. The divine I am would be in there and that chalice energy would be in there too. So this one, it's, it's holding space with all of them, but this is more refined to just the divine I am. And to me is a lot more powerful than the golden fire, the divine I am, the chalice all together. To me, the divine I am is the most powerful ring we have right now. Um, pretty, pretty phenomenal. Um, but, you know, truly, if you are in meditation and you want to access these fields of the divine I am or the chalice, you can find those in any of the rings, even the sacred cubits that we made 11 years ago. You can find those energies in there. All right, uh, let's see. Hi, I'm waiting for my first order and I'm looking what else to get specifically for the office. On my list, I have the Wings of Talk, the I Am Generator, and the Gateway tab. Is there anything else you can see beneficial for getting for the office? You know, for, I'm actually wanting to release a new bundle of ring or a bundle of tools and 
this god i had the name is something like transform transformational life package or something of that nature because i tell you these these three tools the divine i am generator the alchemist pendant in silver and the set of alchemist rings have shifted me more than i have ever shifted in the past 12 years of doing this work um it's been a rough go the past couple of years especially and the divine i am generator has held a space and i noticed that i am in more in peace around this this has been huge the uh the pendant the silver pendant um the silver is is different than the copper on on this pendant on the alchemist pendant um it's pretty flipping amazing the shifts that have occurred within my being and then of course working with the set of three rings but getting back to the question for the office um the bundle that i want to put together is going to be this pendant the alchemist pendant it's going to be the divine i am generator and it's going to be the set of alchemist rings now there's something to this when you are working with these three so i'm going to take um my pocket alchemist set and i add that to this and i'm going to put this divine im generator on there and to me it's almost like this is like a docking station for this generator and how these tools all are working together so that when they are separate there's something with this connection so then when you are wearing this set it's bringing through some extra support from these other two tools as well as when you're taking this generator around it's like it's receiving that extra support from your docking station and connecting with you um, there's just something about this set but anyway um to to still answer your question though here um andrea about the the tools for the office having just the divine i am generator in the office is going to be super fantastic basically the divine i am generator can do most everything that all of the other tools do the wings of talk can get in a little bit deeper and brings um you know the the other support of the of the masters of the blues um that that extra support comes in with the wings of talk so the wings of talk is still a powerful clearing tool and and that's what i would use the wings of talk more is to get in and do some of that real sticky clearing whether it is um you know portal vortexes the geomagnetic stuff um just pockets of super dense energy um for sure the wings of talk will clear that out and quite possibly well especially for like dense energy things like that the divine im generator is going to do that work as well but um we just find that like practitioners who are out there finding all of the really funky anomalies on the planet um the wings of talk is perfect for for them to work with where the divine im generator to me is just going to be doing um it's going to be creating a space of peace because it's going to be bringing everybody into that space of peace but it's going to also be allowing everybody to get to the core of the human issues to help start and release those especially if they're not out doing any work this is going to help do the work for them with them um so yeah the divine i am generator to me is one of the most phenomenal tools for for shifting the entire environment and to me adding these three pieces together or even just these two um one of the trios and this divine i am generator is is it's to me it's a game changer um so let's see yeah it's, it's just been amazing how i've found my personal world has shifted so much these past three weeks and i totally attribute it to these three tools um all right uh let's see hi brian i saw on instagram that you've been updating the regeneration generator with the divine i am 
is it just there or with it in, or is it with intention so the um so johan if you have the um the little one and a half inch divide um sorry the little one and a half inch regeneration generator which i don't have one sitting here um Yes, the etheric template to that regeneration generator has been updated to the divine I am. So when you have your, if you've purchased one already, yours is the divine I am. But yes, on our clearance sale, those little one and a half inch regeneration generators, yes, I did update all of those specifically when I twisted the wire to the divine I am. Um, so yeah, if you haven't checked out the clearance page, man, be sure to do that. The copper bangles are on sale. Most things are like 33% off right now, which is below manufacturing. We just want to be able to get these off of our shelves, which thank you guys very much. We've gotten a lot of those things off our shelves, like the nine inch harmony rings, things like that. But um, we do want to um, continue getting the rest of those tools out. So with uh, just to make sure with that generator so yes if you own a generator it is updated to the divine i am uh, let's see can you recommend a video to learn how to access and work with the chalice energy yeah um <laughs> let me see i'm actually if you guys don't mind here i'm going to pull up really quick the youtube page just to see if there was um one specifically because man i just don't remember if we did something specifically um okay so on the youtube channel there is let's see the divine i am activation at disclosure fest that one was a little bit hard to follow along just for the fact that it um hey here we go sacred heart and chalice attunement at nine minutes long so yes twistedsage.com youtube you will find the Sacred Heart and Chalice Attunement right there. All right. Uh, JR, what are the benefits of combining the personal alchemy set with the quantum healer? You know, I've actually had people mentioning that adding the quantum healer to, to the personal or this pocket set or to the alchemist pendant, um, I've heard people mention that that quantum healer and these rings are getting along really well and that it is amping up the work that the quantum healer is doing. Um, I'd almost, and I need to try that too, I'd almost recommend adding a quantum healer to your trio just to see. Because yeah, I have heard that though, adding the quantum healer to the alchemist has, has been a profound thing as well. Um, so start, yeah, JR, I haven't looked specifically to see, but I do feel that it's amping up that, um, the, um, sorry, it, that is amping up the quantum healer uh, greatly with that. April, I have the bipendant. How do we get your setup? Okay, so if you have the bipendant already um, and you can add this third ring to it, it's the divine I am ring. So if you go to the Alchemist Rings page, now, sorry, our Alchemist sets and our Alchemist Rings, it's all kind of, mm, I need to do a lot of work to the website. We're going to make it a lot easier to um, navigate through the Alchemist sets because we have all four Alchemist sets now. So if you go to the Alchemist Rings page, not the Alchemist set, but the Alchemist Rings, right now you will find that you can find uh, you can purchase each of the individual rings that go to all the Alchemist sets under the Alchemist Rings page. That's currently. Soon we're going to have the, the pages set up so that you would just go to the, the personal Alchemist set. And then you could find this ring as well as the personal Alchemist set. Um, but for now, go to Alchemist Rings. And that is where you can find the small Divine I Am ring to add to that by pendant. And I tell you, April, that is huge, adding, adding that to that bipendant. Um, it, it's pretty amazing, the difference between the bipendant and the alchemist pendant. Um, Renard, how would you use crystals with the divine I am generator? 
I felt something with my quartz point and got distracted from diving deeper at that point. <laughs> LOL. Yes, I understand. So, you know, if you, let's say this is a crystal and a crystal tip. If your crystal does not fit inside the generator, you can put just part of the crystal. Or if it's a flat piece of selenite, whatever, you can lay it on top. Uh, basically, you're just bringing that intention, that connection with the crystal and the generator. Now, with that, um, you can just set it and forget it and allow the crystal and that space to do the work. You can hold your intentions with it. You can, um, you know, just intend that all the higher aspects of that crystal are anchored into the crystal and broadcast through the generator. Um, you can tell your crystal, hey, you now have access to this whole one block field, put this on there and allow the crystal to, to do its magic. So working with the crystals, basically just work with the crystal at the depth that you would usually work with it. It can be super simple um, when you're working with a crystal or you can go more in depth and more detailed and talking with the crystal. So um, simple or in depth, however is perfect. And of course, simple is always so much better. We all know, <laughs> or at least, yeah, simple is always better. So we're gonna go over here to chat again. Um, and let's see. Um, I'm sorry, Anna, I do not remember a question on Instagram from three weeks ago, parents related, um, man, if, if you could send me, uh, an email or a message, Anna, I'd really appreciate that because I, I just started using my okay Google app because to take messages for me and to remind me and things because yeah thanks google because um i have uh, as soon as something comes in my awareness and i see it i let it go and it's it's gone so and please do reconnect with me on that um let's see and pat says having the divine i am generator alchemist set in the same configuration <laughs> yeah and that's it i tell you that's um where that's where a lot of synchronicities come into play with people that have um, the sets of tools and they put them together and that's just how they set them and it's it's pretty amazing that's how the activator was first created was sets of tools people put them together always in the same configurations and that's when we we're like wow there's something to this whole thing um so awesome all right thanks anna um let's see so let's see if you guys have any more questions here um okay yeah actually we haven't talked about the alchemist pendant yet so um so if, anybody, and if anybody has any questions on that prototype subscription service please do drop a question here into the questions tab um it's going to be super phenomenal you guys um because basically you're going to be getting tools for you know it's going to be cheaper than the than when you would purchase it if it comes out as a actual product um so it's really is a win-win-win situation and man we really appreciate the support in the prototype tools um so yeah thank you guys for checking out that page uh let's see so the next um the next release we're going to do here soon is going to be the alchemist pendants um, this one's not very bright and shiny. I've been, I've turned all of my silver dark because I've just been out in the heat and sweating and I'd never had, um, my body tarnishing tools like it has this year. So anyway, just never mind that these aren't bright and shiny as they normally would be, but this pendant set is super cool because they're, they're loose in there, but yet when you're wearing it, it sits flat. I mean, it's perfect, but I mean, it's just, we have used our roller machine to create this rounded wire and, um, or this half round wire. And we're using that as a way to hold these in place. So we have this alchemist pendant in copper and in silver 
the sterling silver there's something with the silver we have i have not sat down with brenda to do a reading on it yet but i tell you when i put the silver on it was the first time that i've ever really felt grounded with the tools i mean it was just an instant everything in and i am here um this is where i've seen the biggest shifts in my own being take place is with this silver alchemist pendant um it's been pretty pretty flipping amazing um kendall i put the alchemist set on the ascension grid pyramid <laughs> you know i've seen pictures of that a lot here recently people have been putting that alchemist set on their ascension grid pyramids here this next week we're doing an update to all the ascension pyramids and we're actually going to be sending an alchemist set with the ascension pyramids instead of the harmonic creation field trio and um because the and and then also as an upgrade if you have an ascension pyramid and either this this smaller alchemist set or the home alchemist set is huge um adding to these pyramids i mean it's bringing through a whole nother layer too um oh kendall so you use the small set on your alchemist uh, on your um ascension grid point <laughs> yes and i did too actually in my car i have my copper um pocket alchemist set that sits perfectly on top of there um so let's see um back to the pendant it's going to be available in copper uh, i believe the price is going to be 108 on those and they will have a leather lanyard that's included with the copper ones now the silver ones um the silver ones are actually these guys are going to be closer to 199 on um, the silver set um the silver set you'll have the option of the two different size chains that we that we carry and again with the chains we only i think we're selling them for maybe a dollar over the price that we get them for on amazon so i mean the chains are good chains too that we get so you'll have the option for the silver chains or a leather lanyard with the silver pendant as well um and i have like i say we have not done the readings on them i'm hoping that we can get that copper pendant tweaked enough to where it will carry that same energetics as the silver we have not been able to do that in the past pendants but you know, it's a new day so we might be able to get that copper to carry that same energetics as the silver um but yeah there's just something with this silver set that is it's just phenomenal so anyway jump back over here to questions um let's see do you have any experience of working with your tools on diseases like cancer any preferred tools so we've actually working with cancer is usually a job of the taurus um there was actually gosh which i think it was the galactic taurus that we were making at the time and maybe we'd switch the harmony but there was actually in Golden, Colorado, there was a gentleman who used the the Tauruses as and foot baths and um, certain other detoxes. Use use like three things in conjunction with the Taurus as as treatment um, program for cancer, and that was in Golden. And of course, he you know kind of got in trouble with the with the powers to be about his claims and everything because he was doing great work um so the reason that i we say the taurus um the taurus is one of the more powerful tools for working with the physical because it's creating that toroidal field the, the taurus the true tube taurus so when you're using that taurus um that field that comes out of it is harmonizing it's harmonizing things on the physical but it is also um you know where we see it doing the most work is all the energetic because most people who work with cancer would see that cancer begins in the emotional field and when it just sits there and solidifies it then begins to step down and manifest into physical as cancer 
So the reason that a lot of our tools are helping to queer where cancer comes from, the emotional field, if we can use the tools to clear everything energetically, then allow the physical to come back into balance with the new energetic template instead of the energetic template being all this stuck emotions and the crap that's here that manifests into a dis-ease. Um, but even more so, like with the divine I am uh, Taurus, we are going back to the very source and core of distress and dis-ease as the human in this here now moment. So we're going back through all lifetimes and finding the core of the issue. So to me, if you were working with um, hardcore diseases like cancer, the divine I am Taurus would be the one to work with because it's going back and finding the core issues of what is causing the issues with us in this here now. Um, so yeah, the, and, and when you, if you get a Taurus and you are serious about using a Taurus for serious healing, get the attunement with Brenda, because Brenda will not only attune that Taurus to your light specifically, but anybody can use it, but she is also basically doing a session with you at the time that she is making your Taurus. Because when she is wiring all those rings together, let's see, what is that? 15 rings. Um, when she's wiring all of those rings together, she is holding space and doing the work with you at that time. So you're getting a session with her. Um, all right. So moving on here. April, will we be able to get the silver connector separate? Um, no. This For this alchemist pendant, this clasp is it's a permanent clasp it gets welded ground polished um bent into place it's quite a process actually to to make this clasp to hold these together so really if you do not if you're not particular about needing to have a chain through your through your set and you're okay with just using the leather lanyard you can go back to the way that we were doing it with the binary infusion pendant and it was a leather lanyard that held those two together and then you just add in your third ring for that divine i am so you can most certainly get this set which is going to be cheaper um you're going to save anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars um doing it this way versus on oh, no, sorry you'll save 10 to 20 dollars depending on copper or silver if you're doing it this way with the leather lanyard or if you're doing it this way with the with the permanent clasp so um whichever one it is that uh you know the style that you wish energetically it's going to be the same though um linda what's the distance of the divine i am generator yeah, so the Divine I Am generator covers about a city block um, as far as distance in this physical world. Um, the beauty of it is the distance in hmm, the distance throughout the universe is limitless. I mean, this goes and finds every soul aspect that you are in this universe. So that distance is is infinite, but as far as working with electromagnetics dense consciousness all the people within the field it's a city block approximately all right so all right and if you guys do have questions again please make sure you drop them over in the questions tab so i can catch them for sure um let's see and let's see and margaret was asking do you sell the chain separate separate with the clip you're wearing oh so now then this and again as far as the set that i'm wearing this is the alchemist pendant with the silver chain we do sell the silver chain separate we actually have um the silver chains are on our website on a 30 and a 24 inch i believe they are um so you can actually purchase the chain separate on the website 
Um, but then the the alchemist pendant in silver will have the option of it'll have actually three options. It can be the leather lanyard, the 24 inch or the 30 inch silver chain. And the copper alchemist um, pendant only comes with the leather lanyard. That's that's the one way it comes. So um, yeah. Anyway, let's see. I was trying to think if there is any other new updates coming up. Um, yeah, we like I say we have a lot of things on our plate with prototypes and things. Um, we just are having our soft opening to our energy spa, the energy garden. Um, is going to be open up here. That's our other studio that has all five of the different ascension pyramids in it. And so basically with that, you know, we have people that fly and drive from all over the world to spend time in these things. Um, you know, people that claim that they clear a cancer addictions, all kinds of stuff. For me, it cleared rotator cuffs. Um, so as far as the, the energy spa goes, the energy garden, we'll have our actual grand opening sometime here this fall, but it's pretty much available anytime we charge, um, we prorate it $60 an hour. Your first 15 minutes is free. So basically you come in and Mary will walk you through the, the chambers. And um, so, yeah, that's a pretty phenomenal experience. I just try and think if there's any other updates uh, right here. Oh, let's see. Samson, what's the area of effect with the divine I am Taurus? Would it be where whatever the individual area of the effect of the person's awareness? Also, what does the field look like with the alchemist set? So, um, Samson, the divine I am Taurus, that one actually, so that's another exciting thing about that divine I am Taurus. Um, it's usually all the Tauruses up to that point would only create that smaller field. You would create like maybe, I don't know, a six foot field, maybe 12 foot at the most. But it was that toroidal field that we were using that as. It was just for personal. It was for doing the body work, um, doing that connection work with that cosmic sun disc, the regeneration torus. That one was very much about the higher torsion fields, the pineal, bringing in the higher torsion fields, anchoring in our light more. Within the divine I am Taurus, that one, it's it's creating a field that's the size of your home. So it's not just a little concentrated field to be working with the body. It is more of an environmental tool as well, which is why I feel that Taurus, that's I'm so excited about that. And to me, the divine I am Taurus is going to be pretty similar to the divine I am generator um, in its effects. But the Taurus, um, the Taurus is a pretty amazing tool. It, it really, truly is an amazing tool. And actually, Samson, I have not played with that Divine I Am Taurus with the Alchemist set, but the Divine I Am Taurus is the Alchemist set. The outer ring is the Divine I Am. All the petals are the chalice, and the center ring is the harmonizer. So that um, Divine I Am Taurus is actually the alchemist Taurus. We just didn't have the alchemist rings at the time, so we weren't calling it an alchemist. Um, but yeah, the Divine I Am Taurus does contain that alchemist set. But of course, when you add an alchemist set to anything, it is going to help to amplify it all. Um, all right. Seeing if we have any other questions here. I'm scrolling through chat to see what's happening. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I think that is, I think that is all. Um, gosh, I was thinking that there was a couple other things that I wanted to bring up for um, upcoming releases and updates. But um, I guess... You know, two, if you do choose to jump on to the, um, onto the prototype subscription service, we're also going to be sending out an extra email there to only those who have purchased. 
and we will give you the opportunity to purchase some of these prototype tools that we're probably not going to sell, but that are so flipping phenomenal. Um, you know, like <laughs> we just made some Gaia spheres out of that triangulated wire. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful and they feel so flipping good. I mean, there's just there's going to be a lot of tools coming out with that subscription service program that. Um, yeah, I, I would sure suggest if you have the the extra cash to join into that service because it's going to be some fun tools coming through. So anyway, hey, thank you all again. Um, I need to do a polls tab here. How many of you guys know we have a blog? We actually have a blog. It's on the very bottom of the of the um, twistedsage.com homepage. But we're going to start doing more blog posts. Um, we're going to start getting more out in social media, creating a lot of memes, um, sharing photos. And gosh, we would really appreciate everybody's assistance in, in shares. I know a lot of you guys share our stuff and tag us all the time. And we are very, very grateful for that. And as we start to produce more content, um, I'd sure love for you guys to check it out. And if it's something that you ever feel to share, then man, we're always very grateful for, for any social media shares that you guys put out there. So, all right. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody's asking about the blog, the blog. Um, I'm not sure what the address is. We need to start sharing the blog, but it is on the the home page of the twistedsage.com and it's at the very bottom. Right now, the blog has just been about um, the people at work and you know just kind of things around the shop, you know, just kind of showing people you know the the backside of everything. And so we're gonna be putting out a whole lot more content with that blog um, just to try to get ourselves out there more so why well, we we appreciate all the all the shares that you guys do so all right hey much gratitude thank you guys for being here and we'll see you again soon all right have a great one oh it's not letting me end all right have a good one